What's going on here? Mr. Dave here. And I wanted to show you the first water feature I ever did as a professional. You're looking at a uh, rubber liner feature. And this is what I did, geez, probably 24 years ago, I guess. Maybe Daniel was, well, he's probably five or six. So yeah, 20 years ago again. And this is how it ended up. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge collection of flagstone and brick and real rock. It's the rubber liner system I did from Aquascape. Um, they had a biofilter bio on the top up here and a skimmer on the bottom. And we'll just quickly go through the process. I just basically looked at the little directions on how to do these things. Very simple. It's a great technology. Um, and that's the beginning of the site. There's Daniel, my boy, giving me that beautiful big grin of his. And so this is where we wanted to put the pond. This was in La Jolla. And the customer was really happy with it. And I think it came out pretty good. But it was my first job. I got 1100 bucks for this thing. And you can see here... I don't, I, you know, I recognize him as someone who's familiar, but I don't know. I don't remember exactly his name, but he, I think, helped dig a little bit. He was, I think he was someone who's just kind of interested in water features. He could have been the homeowner for all I know. But you dig out your hole, you get that all cleared out, and you put down the underlayment, which is that black sort of felt fabric over here. Lay down the rubber liner. That's an EPDM 45 mil liner. And that's really thick stuff. It's it's hard to put a hole in it, I suppose you can if you're not careful with sharp stuff. But um, that is laid in there. And then you just put real rock. You make terraces when you dig your pond dig. You make terraces around the perimeter so you can stack things up. And then you taper the walls at an angle, the angle of repose. Repose? Um, repose? I think that's it. Uh, such that you can stack things up, these little walls, uh, as it were, and all the way up the top, the balance of it. Um, you want to cover the liner, of course, and make sure you can't see any liner anywhere. Uh, it's called the Biofalls, I think was that was their trademark name uh, for their particular. Uh, uh, Filter Falls is another name from another brand, I think it was. And you have bags of lava rock that are in there, and they, they are, allow for the colonization of good bacteria that consumes the bad bacteria in your water as you're... Um, uh, running these things. You want to run them 24-7 once they're done and that allows for the water to continue to be kept clean and clear. You can see the, the filter down here. It's got a faux, faux rock kind of plastic precast pre uh, poly or propylene uh, lid if, if you will that goes over and that's light. You pick it up you can clean out the little basket and nets in there. They had a lot of leaf drop no doubt in this place so they had to take care of it um, with regular maintenance, of course, and <clears throat> the pond dig you can use to build up the back to give yourself some some elevation change <clears throat> on that. And uh, so we have that process continuing here. Um, these are the stones that are real rock that we brought in, and those are going to be used to fill in that space uh, where the pond feature is going to go. Again, this is my first water feature. I wasn't doing faux rock then. It was a liner feature with real rock. It's a very simple technology, really cool. Companies that uh, provide the systems for that are really, uh, they've thought it through and they got it dialed in. Nowadays, if I did one, I'd use um, a, uh, a UV filter to polish the water. I think they use that term and it helps get all the suspended organics that aren't good. Uh, it kills them and the water flows past the UV light and they get nuked. And um, so that helps keep the pond cleaner. It's a small, small feature. So uh, this one in particular, there's not a lot of gallons going on in there. Um, and uh, and so, you know, the bigger fil filter, bigger pro uh, projects need more filtration, more bog filters as it, as it were. And here's just a little bit more of a close up on that same prep work. That just continues on up and around the walls. You're covering your liner and then you put the planning back in and get it all nice and dialed in. And in this case, they had, um, I think a gardener come in and just do a great job fill, filling in all the gaps and the space in there around the feature, maybe putting up a little soil underneath that liner, rolling it down. And then again, um, just planning it out, a lot of color. They did a good job, I think, really kind of pretty. So 
Anyway, my first paid job, 1100 bucks, and I got that job from put, doing a garden show at the Del Mar Fair, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it wasn't a flop. <laughs> it worked. So uh, my first job uh, in water feature land, as it were, that was a paid job. I'd done a few other ones, some experiments at my house and for a friend. But uh, this was the first one, and you can see it's a... It's got a lot of color and they flushed it out real nice. It worked out good, I think. So anyway, Mr. Dave's first uh, rock, uh, real rock water feature with a liner here going back many, many years, 22 years maybe. I don't know. It's it's a while back. So uh, you can get in the door real easy with this stuff. The the, the uh, liner systems are very simple. The, the, they've got them all figured out. So don't be afraid to you know dive in with that. They're really a, a good way to start and get your feet wet, as it were, really uh, in reality too. <laughs> so uh, DaveHenderson.podia.com for free and for sale content on how to do stuff. Uh, focus mostly on the artificial rock side of things as opposed to the liners, but uh, maybe I can add some liner work here at some point. Um, uh, a little bit more and uh, www.davrhenderson.com for blogs and links to other platforms. So anyways, God bless you guys. Remember to be thankful for giving and you will be a blessing and not a curse to the people in your life. And that is a good thing. So until next time, we'll see you on the rock pile. And uh, thanks for checking out my stuff. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.